Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Look at this, you guys. I have been busy in the weekend and I made all of this. I know it's really hard to believe because there's quite a lot of embellishments in here. There's just so many and there's so many in here and I just want to share them with you guys. I did have a lot of fun in the weekend making this in the gloomy, gloomy days. So let's go ahead. Now, this hashtag embellish with us Wednesdays is co-hosted by Marianne's Craft Corner and Lilo Crafts, Raina. So I will make sure to have their channel in my description area. Make sure you go follow them and also follow along the hashtag embellish with us Wednesdays to be inspired by many different styles. Okay, so let's go ahead with maybe this box first. This box is actually um, one of the cups that we bought and I just thought the size of the box was just so perfect to put things in, so I kept it. So let's go ahead with this one. Okay, so I'm just gonna tip it out because I think it's so fun to do that. Let's see. So I have been using some paper rosettes that my friends have made for me. I have also been using holographic die cuts that my friends have been making for me. So let's start off with this. Okay, let's just move it a little bit to the side. So if you remember recently in one of my challenge entry videos from Karen, who is Ms. Snail Space, she had die cut for me many of the holographic pieces. And I was just so inspired when I looked at it that I had to just use it and make stuff with it. So why I, while I had all of those outs, the die cuts and the rosettes out from my friends, I was thinking, what am I going to embellish these with? And I decided to go with the biggest pile of ephemera that I have. And one of them is definitely florals. I have so much florals because I love them so much. And, but I decided that, you know what, I want to start using it a bit more instead of just keeping it. So I just went free and I just laid them all out on my desk. My desk was so covered. It was like mountain of ephemera and it was like mountain of embellishments as I was making them. And I really, really enjoyed using all the different pieces. I also got to use some uh, iridescent gemstones that were sent in the entry and things. So let's go ahead and have a look. So this is like a large banner, a fishtail banner piece. I used it uh, vertically instead of horizontally. And I just simply layered some digital image flowers and circle piece and the sticker. This one, I already had this die cut of a heart shape, the hollow heart shape, and I never knew what to do with it. So I decided that I'm going to layer it between things. So I layered it between the rosette piece, the tool, and some chipboard piece and came up with this. Here's another heart one. And this is a heart one where I have married it with some market square chipboard pieces and some different Gen Headfield pieces. Let's see, this one here, here's another heart piece. This time, instead of adding a rosette at the bottom, I just kept it a little bit more flat and I just layered different things. I had a large tree chipboard, which I never knew what to do with. So I decided instead of using it as a tree, I was going to use the oval shape as a base. So I just layered that on top of the heart and added some different things. And also I got to use some garden party puffy stickers. So pretty. Here are some rosettes that Michelle made for me from Call Me Michi. I added chipboard pieces, um, florals, and some sentiment pieces that Catherine has sent in the entry. Here's another one. So this pearlescent blue rosette was the start. So I grabbed lots of different blue tones to make this one. This one is very simple. All I did was add some foam behind this large circle piece. I thought that was more than enough. 
and this one was this layer die cut of a rose piece was sent to me by Letty from Party Planner Papery and I got to use it on top of another large rose chipboard piece and I think it looks so sweet. This one was a rosette that I made a long time ago. I decided to just layer on top using many different shapes. So I had a banner piece of sticker that I didn't know what to do with. So I layered some piece behind it and front of it and used some foam tapes to raise things up and made this one. This one was a shaker vellum piece that I had already made so that I can embellish further when I felt like it. So I got to use it. I layered some different leaf pieces and I had a bathtub of floral and that was a really hard piece to use. But I thought since there's a floral in the bathtub, I'm going to go with different, more different sides of floral. So I added some little tiny puffy stickers and I used the starburst shape at the back on top of the uh, shaker vellum. And I had this large embellishment piece that I got to use. And I think the sh different shapes all go nicely together. Here's another shaker one I used as a base. I layered some different um, sticker pieces. So these are all sticker pieces, you guys. So when you layer sticker pieces together, it just creates magic. I love it. And here's another vellum base. I added the market square tag piece and added some different leaf bit behind it. And I got to use some clear stickers. Here's another vellum one. I added a starburst in the one corner and I added some several different puffy stickers at the front. I think it's got four different puffy sticker cl uh, cluster. And I also added clear stickers on the vellum, which I think it's really great. This one is kept simple. This one, I didn't know how to go about using the You're the Sweetest from Doodlebug. And I must say, um, Karen, where's that piece? Oh, here. Karen, in my recent entry, she sent this little birdie pearl drop and she said this was her favorite. So I tried it and look at the dimension it creates. Can you guys pick that up? It creates a really nice dimensional glossy look and I really, really love it, Karen. So thank you so much. And then this is another holographic scallop circle that Karen has sent. I use the gumboot piece that I never knew how to use. I had this gumboot piece for a while and I also had the wheelbarrow piece for a while. And because of the size of both of these, I just couldn't use them very well. But I decided that I'm gonna go with a garden theme. So I went with the gumboot on top of the wheelbarrow and then I just went from there. So then I added the sentiment these days I added the pearl um, bit there and some puffy stickers. And I also used the uh, pearl drop on the floral piece there. I love the texture it creates. And this one was another little mini tag piece from the Market Square. I added a large uh, circle piece that actually said made with love, which I didn't know how to use by itself, but I decided to make sure that I can see the made with and add these pieces. So made with love at home, like all of these decorative pieces kind of thing. And then I had this camera chipboard piece from the Market Square. And sometimes rectangular shapes are a bit hard to use, I think. So, but if I layer it between, uh, on top of different size shapes, I think it looks really nice. So I added a large, uh, one of the large Maggie Holmes floral piece that I had. And I added the explore, what did I say? Explore with wonder because of the camera and the travel theme. Here's another large ephemera. So in the weekend, I really got to use the large size ephemera pieces that otherwise I wouldn't know how to go about using. I layered this large vase on top of the chair and then I had this spring chip board 
and I added some stickers on top. And this one is another holographic banner piece that I used vertically. And I just layered many things. So this is a large floral piece. Then I had another piece on top of that. And then I added the holographic. Then I added this cake and put a heart behind it. I also used another balloon up here and another little heart piece. So that's my first lot of embellishments, which is quite a lot. I know I have, a, I have too much. So that's my first lot. Okay. Then I have this. Okay. Now I thought about sharing this in another week's, but I'm not like that. I like to share what I make in one go. So this is another one. It's another large floral piece. I went with the color purple here and matched it with this circle piece that said Dreamer. Move it all to the side. This one is a market square floral that's black and white. So I kept this colors pretty simple. It says lovely. This is a pretty little bit chunkier one. This is a unicorn. And I got to use the holographic alphabet thicker that I wasn't able to use. I think this was like a uh, letter G or something that's not really commonly used. And I layered things. This one, I used a large floral as a base, added some foam behind the circle sun, and then added some puffy stickers. Home is where I'm with you. This is a, a one that's like got the happy word and the happy is a sticker from the Jen Headfield collection. I also married it with some garden party puffy stickers and used the holographic scalloped edge one. Look at this. This is a large floral piece. And I made it like this and I have layered so many different bits as you can see. I think in total like one, two, three, four, oh yeah, more than six pieces. And it just looks so nicely. The, I love the color combinations that I came up with. And this one is a sticker on top that says collect moments. After you adding all of the chipboard pieces, I finished it off with the tiny puffy stickers. I really like using them. This one is the good life. This one is some Maggie Holmes floral. This was actually an even larger, longer piece and I cut it into half. And then I added the half that, the bottom half was the leaf part, like a, a long stalky part. And I just uh, layered it behind the circle piece to create this different look. This one is a large horse chipboard piece and I really love the way this one worked out. Like it was a really large scallop circle base that I started off with, but I needed that for my large horse chipboard. And I just layered another, several more chipboard on top of the horse in the middle and it just looks so nice collectively. And I love the fact that the texture adds different uh, feel on top of another large rose piece. And I added a sticker that says smile because when I look at this, it makes me smile. I'll share another horse piece. I love this piece as well. I had this uh, stamped word that said happy heart. And I really wanted to use that because this color matches the floral color there. So I just made that one and I think it worked out really nicely. This one is based on a holographic flower shape base. I really enjoyed using those pretty snow tool. And I added some chipboard pieces, three different chipboard pieces, but I also added some puffy stickers. I love the color combination. Here is another one. I absolutely adore this sheet from the Market Square, but this sheet wasn't easy to work with. So I kind of decided to find pieces that had the similar color tones. So I found this large one with the pinks and the whites. And I also went with the pink clear sticker that says a moment to explore because sheets like go exploring. 
And then here's another one where I used the Market Square ticket embellishment piece. And I added some puffy stickers and large florals at the back. This is where I used those lovely leaf die cuts that Aisha has sent in, in the mail that I received recently. And I loved how she cut out many different uh, tones of greens for me. Here's another large one. So this was a large Maggie Holmes floral piece. And I just simply layered more things on top and I love the um, how it looks. I think this will be a really nice centerpiece for a journal cover one day. This is another large chipboard piece that I just could not work with for a long time. But I used the uh, starburst shape as a base, but I, put, I sort of put it next to it. And then I used those leaves that Aisha has sent me and it just worked out so wonderfully. I layered many pieces, as you can see. Here is a lovely goose one or ducky. I'm not sure. Here's a market square one. And this was another large plant piece that I just could not work with by itself. Capture the moment. And this one says fantastic, using lots of different star pieces. Here's another little one. Oh my goodness, look at this table. It's just filled, you guys. But I just can't hold off to share for another week what I make this week that I share. That's that's me. And you guys might think that, oh my gosh, how long does all I take to make all of this? When I start something and I have clear, I mean, ideas of what I want to make, the theme that I want to work with, which is using up a lot of what I have, it just works. <laughs> Here's the, another one. It says Wonder. It's another horse piece. And that was a clear sticker that I backed onto white cardstock, one of a kind. This one is an acetate piece that I used as a base, and I really love how it looks. All together. This one is Oh My Stars. This camera is a sticker piece. And then here is a sweet bumblebee, as sweet as a cupcake. Here I got to use an acetate butterfly as a base. And I love the cluster I came up with. It says Happy Day. This is a chipboard heart that I had, which was quite a big, biggish size and I didn't know how to go about it. So when I layered it behind this bloom cup, it worked out really nicely, but I didn't have the gold on there and I thought it looked too boring. But when I added another piece of the uh, starburst at the bottom, it just made it shine better, I think. I'm getting there, you guys. This one says, oh, hey. And I used the star chipboard from the market square in the middle. And I also added uh, two little mini rainbow stickers behind the Ohe as a scallop shape. And this one says for you at the bottom. And I also got to use those beautiful faceted gems that Karen had sent me in the entry. Here's another one where it was a large... Uh, rectangle chipboard didn't know what to do so i just utilized the frame bit to show and i just added two different size hats in the middle this is a large one it's the grocery shop bit from the market square all of these are from market square but adding the um, mesh tool on top of this holographic cardstock i think it just made things really nice and this is a large, again, rectangular piece. I find it a bit hard to use, but I did okay, I think. It says, you are beautiful. I layered many different pieces and it just worked out. So that's my Embellish With Us Wednesday share. I know there is a lot to look at here. Thank you so much for being here. I, As you can see, I really just enjoy making these. And I have heaps that I can 
gift in the future for future males and also to use in journal making and so and so. So thank you so much, everybody. And I hope you go follow the hashtag embellish with us Wednesdays. Thank you for being here. Bye.